Hello, I'm Hannah Vaughan Jones in London. You're watching CNN News Now. The US is calling for calm in northern Iraq, where Iraqi troops have seized the oil rich city of Kirkuk, ending years of Kurdish control. Peshmerga commanders say at least 15 Kurdish fighters have been killed, dozens more wounded. The Kurds secured the strategic city from ISIS back in 2014. In Syria, U.S.-backed forces continue to squeeze ISIS out of its self-declared capital of Raqqa. Civilians are fleeing the city as the major offensive appears to be reaching the brink. The terror group has lost 90% of Raqqa, with only a few hundred ISIS fighters believed to be left behind. The Philippine president says his troops have retaken the city of Marawi from ISIS-linked militants. The military clarified just a short time ago that the war is not over yet, but will only take a couple of days. Marawi had been under siege since May. Some 350,000 residents left the area during the fighting. At least 300 people have now been confirmed dead after the car bombing in Mogadishu on Saturday. It is now the deadliest attack in Somalia's recent history. No one has claimed responsibility for the bombings, but the terror group Al-Shabaab has carried out similar attacks in the past. And that is your CNN News Now. Stay tuned our way for African Voices coming up next here on CNN.